Discovering Weymouth Harbour, A Morning Stroll with Scenic Views, Part 2 Welcome back to part 2 of our walk around Weymouth Harbour, in this segment, we continue our exploration of this vibrant seaside town. We'll delve deeper into the picturesque surroundings, taking in more of the stunning coastal views and charming landmarks. Join us as we stroll along the scenic waterfront and experience the unique character of Weymouth. Let's pick up where we left off and continue our journey. During World War II, Weymouth played a crucial role as a strategic embarkation point. Its location on the southern coast of England made it an ideal departure point for troops heading to the continent. The harbour was bustling with military activity, as it served as a key staging area for the Allied forces. One of the most significant events associated with Weymouth's wartime role was its involvement in the planning and execution of the D-Day landings. In the days leading up to the invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, Weymouth Harbour was a hive of preparation and organisation. It was from here that many of the troops and supplies were dispatched to support Operation Overlord. The town's strategic importance was recognised by the military, and extensive preparations were made to facilitate the large-scale movement of troops and equipment. The harbour's infrastructure was adapted to accommodate the needs of the wartime effort, with additional facilities and security measures put in place. Today, Weymouth's wartime history is remembered with a sense of pride and reverence. The town's contribution to the Allied victory is a testament to its strategic significance and the dedication of those who served. As we walk through this historic area, we are reminded of the pivotal role Weymouth played during one of the most important periods in history. As we stand on the Pleasure Pier, the view across Weymouth Bay offers a unique perspective of this charming seaside town. The cloudy sky casts a gentle, diffused light over the bay, creating a subtle, muted palette of greys and blues on the water. From here, the sweeping arc of the bay comes into view, with the soft sands of the beach meeting the calm, overcast waters of the English Channel. The historic Weymouth seafront stretches out before us, lined with elegant architecture and the distinctive Devonshire buildings. Their Regency-style facades add a touch of historical grandeur to the scene, even under the overcast sky. The Pleasure Pier itself extends gracefully into the bay, providing a perfect vantage point to appreciate both the natural and architectural beauty of Weymouth. Despite the subdued colours of the cloudy day, the scene remains captivating, with the quiet waters and historic buildings blending into a serene coastal panorama. Whether you're reflecting on the town's rich history or simply enjoying the peaceful ambience, the view from the pier offers a gentle reminder of Weymouth's enduring charm, framed by its beautiful, if slightly muted, seascape.
As we continue our walk along Weymouth's promenade, we notice the classic deck chairs neatly arranged along the seafront. Even on a cloudy day, these colorful chairs add a cheerful touch to the scene, inviting visitors to sit and relax while taking in the view. The deck chairs are a nostalgic nod to traditional seaside holidays, offering a comfortable spot to pause and enjoy the tranquil beauty of Weymouth Bay. Whether you're reading a book, savoring an ice cream, or simply watching the world go by, the deck chairs along the promenade provide the perfect place to soak in the serene atmosphere of this charming coastal town. Do note, however, that the deck chairs are not free, but the small fee is well worth the comfort and the view they offer.
Ahead of us you can see the King Edward Fish and Chip Shop, a well-known spot for both locals and tourists. Conveniently situated close to the Jubilee Clock, this fish and chip shop has been serving delicious, traditional British fish and chips for years. It's a popular stop for those exploring the seafront, offering a classic seaside meal with a view. We can attest that the chips are delicious, and while we didn't have the fish, we thoroughly enjoyed some battered sausages. The crispy, golden battered sausages were a delightful treat. Many visitors appreciate the option to enjoy their meal while strolling along the promenade or sitting on one of the nearby benches overlooking the sea. The King Edward Fish and Chip Shop's enduring popularity is a testament to its quality and the quintessential British seaside experience it offers. Whether you're after a classic fish and chip meal or something different like battered sausages, this spot is a must-visit when in Weymouth.
Thank you for joining us on this wonderful journey through Weymouth. We hope you enjoyed exploring the historic harbour, the picturesque views from the Pleasure Pier, and the delicious treats from the King Edward Fish and Chip Shop. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions for future videos. Stay tuned for more adventures and discoveries. Until next time, take care and keep exploring.